Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Budgeting for Future. My name is Leah and today we are doing our Transfer Tuesday video here on our channel. This video was inspired by Penny Stop Perfection here on YouTube so I will be linking her channel down below. I'm very excited to get into this video today because recently if you have seen any of my other videos you'll know that we've kind of changed up what our plans are for our financial goals for the year. We are keeping with the same goals, but we have decided to really fast track paying off our car loan. Originally, we were paying $400 every two weeks and we planned on having that paid off by the end of November, but with the newest stimulus package just getting released, as well as some other financial wins happening in our family. We decided that we are gonna try to pay off that car loan even faster, and so that will very much be reflected in today's Tuesday transfer video. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this thing. Now today we are closing out our pay period from last week as well as starting the next pay period coming up here. We did have some money left over in the budget from last pay period which equaled $221. We decided to put $200 of that to our car loan bringing that down to $7,150 and put the remaining $2,100 to our school sinking fund because we are pretty aggressively trying to also save up to cash flow my master's program. On Friday, we received our paychecks, whoop whoop, and during that time, we also made some financial moves that kind of go on behind the scenes. 9% of our income does go towards our 401ks, 5% comes directly from our paychecks, and then another 4% comes from our employer through our employer match. That equals right around $346 in total going towards our individual 401ks. We also have a 401k loan on my husband's 401k and every pay period we also pay $57.34 towards that. That brings the principal down about $40 and so our 401k loan has officially become less than $2,300. We're thinking again with all these financial wins that we will definitely be trying to pay off this 401k loan this year. That way the only loans that we have left in our names will be our mortgages as well as our federal student loans. We also typically put $400 towards that car loan but because we did have a little bit of extra money in the paycheck we ended up putting $1,000 towards our car loan instead. That will be bringing our amount that we owe down on our car to $6,150 and we are just so close to paying that off. I can see it. I think our plan is when we receive our stimulus checks to put all of our extra money towards our car loan and then seeing what we have left over and trying to make some decisions after that. But it'll be so good to have $400 of every single paycheck freed up once we get rid of this thing. We are doing a paycheck savings challenge and I did make a printable that you can buy off of Etsy for a dollar. If you're interested in taking a look at that, the link will be down below. But we did put another $85 towards that paycheck challenge, bringing that up to $285 saved up there. We are saving up to buy another rental property hopefully in the next three years. We currently have one in our local area and we're looking to diversify and choose a different property in a different part of the state. And I'm really excited that so far we are $285 towards that goal. We also put another $100 towards our school sinking fund. That brought that up to $1,305 and we will be paying a tuition bill I think next week so it'll go down a little bit but we are fully covered to be able to cash flow my next semester. We also put $40 into our phone sinking fund because we do pay for our phone bill annually every December or January depending on how it works out. We also put $30 towards our pet sinking fund that way we can buy them food and litter, treats and toys. We did make a purchase from that sinking fund recently as well. So I'm not sure how much is 
currently in it, but it's currently pretty, pretty well funded. And that definitely feels good that we're not trying to have to pull that money from our grocery budget, which is what we used to do back before we had a specific category for our pets. We are also working on building up our retirement accounts more than just our 401ks. Now, if you've seen other videos of mine, you'll know that we have a savings rate goal of 14% of our employer income going towards retirement. For the past month or so, we have been over that and this is the first paycheck in a while where we've needed to supplement our 401ks to make sure that we actually are putting 14% of our income into retirement. So today we did put $75 into our Roth IRA account. We do have a Roth IRA through Vanguard and we fully invest it into the S&P 500 through an index fund that we have. And yeah, currently I think that account is almost maybe a little over $13,000. So definitely making some good money moves by saving for our future. That way we can retire and hopefully be comfortable or maybe even retire early, who knows. Last but certainly not least is an update on our taxes. So we did originally start this channel because we found out that we were gonna owe a crazy amount of money in taxes, which was really nerve wracking for me. Originally, I thought our taxes would be right around like ten or eleven thousand dollars, mostly because I don't know how to do math. But after further looking into it, I kind of rolled back our goal, and we did decide to save six thousand dollars for our taxes just to make sure that we were being safe and having enough money to pay those. Now it is currently the middle of March, and we did pay off our taxes early just to get it, one thing checked off our list. I always have a huge running list and it seemed like one of the easier things to do. So check mark there. We paid the federal government $3,190 and our state government paid us $129. So much lower than the $6,000 that we had saved up originally, which is kind of one of the reasons why we decided to attack this car loan because we did have so much extra money that no longer had to be used towards taxes, we decided to throw quite a bit of that money both towards our school sinking fund as well as our car loan. We decided to put $2,900 towards our car loan and I'll make sure to put up on the screen right now to show you exactly how much we have currently paid off of our car loan just in this week alone. Holy moly, so much money, making so many big moves, so excited. And then with the rest of the money, we did put $39 into our student loan sinking account as well. So overall feeling really good. We, I think are gonna be able to pay off this car loan in like a month or two, which is just really crazy to think about. It's been so annoying to have in our lives. I know I feel like I'm always talking about it and it'll be nice once it's gone to just never think about it ever again, but yeah, making some good money moves towards that and also saving up for school. Once we have finished this car loan, I think the next big goal is really gonna be that 401k loan, which is right around $2,300 right now. And I think we'll be able to really destroy that one as well. I'm feeling really good, feeling really optimistic. I feel like with doing these videos, it gives you a really big sense of pride and it's really nice to experience. I feel like I'm doing great things for our family. And yeah, I would love to know what kind of money moves you guys are making. If there's anything you're super proud of, even if it's something small, definitely comment it down below because I would love to hear about it. And I would encourage you, if you did enjoy this video, to give it a like, as well as subscribe to my channel. I also have an Instagram, so if you want to see even more updates of our little money moves and the different things we're working on over there, you can go ahead and consider subscribing to that. I will link that down below and put my little handle somewhere here on the screen. And yeah, hope you have a great rest of your day.